Welcome to the Park Kids Online. For those that don't know me yet, my name is Pastor Kayla and I am the new children's pastor here at the Park Church. If we haven't met yet, I look forward to meeting you and getting to know each and every single one of you. Uh, wherever you're watching from, I hope and pray that this online lesson, uh, you can use it to find Jesus and grow in relationship with him. And I also want to encourage you to have discussion throughout the video and answer the questions at the end as a family. Asking and answering questions are a huge part of discipleship. You will find the most value when you engage together. Make sure you also take a look at the video's description um, because you can find resources there sometimes and the weekly coloring sheet. So God bless you and your family as you grow and learn together.
something purple. Purple like grapes? Hmm. Can you point at something pink? Oh, I love it. Come on, you can do it. Come on and point at something orange. This week, I got a book about the seven natural wonders of the world. I was reading about and looking at pictures of the Grand Canyon. It looks like a huge crack in the earth created by water. That's right. Here, check it out. My mom was reading the book to me, and she read that as you hike into and out of the canyon, you can see different layers of rock on the inside. She read that with each layer, there are all different kinds of rock that are all different kinds of colors. It's like each layer tells a story, remembering how the Grand Canyon became so wonderfully deep. That layer might say, I remember when the water was here and the canyon was only this deep. And another layer might say, I remember when the water was here and the canyon was this deep. I know we're just kids, friends, but have you ever remembered something that meant a lot to you? Like a special party that made you really happy or making a new friend when you were lonely? So I decided to use this cup of water and this sand to make my own Grand Canyon. I'm gonna pour the water in the sand and see what kind of canyon it creates. But first, let's check out today's Bible story. It is time for today's Bible story from the book of Psalms, chapter 103. Today, we're looking at another psalm. Just a reminder, psalms are like songs or prayers that we give to God as a way of worshiping or showing God just how awesome and powerful we believe God is. The psalms are sometimes about hope, needing help, or even songs about things that have already happened. That's what Psalms 103 is about. It's like when you go on a very long adventure and then take a look back at all the things that have happened and how far you've traveled and most importantly, how you've made it through safely because of God's help. Verses two through four says, praise the Lord my soul and forget not his benefits who forgives you of all sin and heals all of your disease, who redeemed your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. The Psalms writer is thanking God for helping along the way. Like the time when the adventurer was sick, but God made him feel better. The time when the adventurer got stuck in a deep, dark hole, but God pulled him out. The time when God made him feel like they could fly like eagles. Psalms 103 worships God by remembering all the good things God has done. But Psalms 103 doesn't just talk about the good things God has done for us. The Psalm also talks about how God takes care of anyone who is hurting and who needs of help. Verse six says, the Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. This means that God cares for people who are treated unfairly and stands up for them. We think about all the wonderful things God has done for us. And when we do, we can't help but say thank you. And when we're not sure of what to say to God, always know. We can worship by remembering what God has done. Whoa! 
Look at the little Grand Canyon the water made in the sand. It's hard to remember what it was even like before I poured the water in. That Bible story made me think. All of the layers of the rocks in the Grand Canyon show us that it's been there for a very long time, before you and I were even born. But all through that time, it was there, just like God is always there. But wanna know the difference between God and the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon is beautiful, but it's just there. God is there for us, watching over us, loving us, and doing amazing things for us. God really is awesome. We can worship by remembering what God has done. I'm gonna keep making canyons in the sand, friends. Thanks for learning and growing with me. See you next time. Bye.